folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. I'm in my backyard. Today, we're going on the second half of the fishing trip that I just posted on Monday. Uh, fishing trip, uh, we posted it two days ago. And Lake Monticello catching bass and white perch. Well, the second half of the fishing trip, we caught all white perch. But I really got on the perch and had a great time catching them. We ended up with about 80-something perch. And, uh, hey, we had one bass we brought home because his gills, he was bleeding. But all the rest of them were released. All the bass we threw back, we caught that great smallmouth bass. But this is the rest of the story uh, of that video on Monday, what a day fishing it was on Lake Monticello. And, uh, hey, I'm going to show you the rod I was using. I'm using a 6'8 H2O Express rod. And I'm going to read you the numbers off of it if I can see them. Uh, it's a... Uh, a uh, six foot eight, it goes to six to 12 pound test line, one eight for three eight ounce lure. That's the rod, and we're using a loose uh, reel, uh, speed reel, a little a loose, and it's a uh, MS 100 speed reel. Hey, a little spinning reel. We got the reel uh, with about, I think, 15 pound test braid line and uh, on it and then we go to monofilament for our three jigs. We go to a swivel and then we break down the monofilament. I've been using eight, I went up to 10, and I ended up with 12. I'm thinking the bigger line you got hanging off of that, less likely they want it, but the most likely you are to land two or three bass at one time. What's happening is these bass are hitting, are seeing the, the perch hit the jigs, and as the perch is darting around with the, with the jig in his mouth, the other two jigs are dancing. And them bass are running up behind it to see what's going on. They see them jigs dancing, pulling sporadically all different ways. They think it's a shad trying to get away. And that's why they're hitting it, and that's why they load up. you got schools of bass down there with God only know how many in a school. And, uh, and they start feeding on whatever looks available. And when that perch gets caught and he's making activity, they run up and see what's going on. And that's why I end up with a couple bass at a time. But we had a great day catching bass. Second after the day, we moved to another location where they seemed to bite better in the midday uh, time. Uh, some, when they start pulling water, the areas I was in the second time, uh, when they pull water, it's the currents more, uh, it's a little bit stronger out there, and I think it causes the feed out there better than it does where I caught them at first, the early morning. But anyhow, we're using the arc ahead, and uh, I'll show them to you. I got black ones and a white ones. I was using the white ones today. I was using these Arca heads, one eighth ounce. I like eighth ounce. If you go to a sixteenth ounce, it tends to want to uh, uh, tie up knots on your line. So the heavier heads you use, the better it is with a multi-rig, two and three rig deal. Uh, it just works better and it don't tangle up tied tie knot as bad. You can't do a lot of jerking. Basically all I'm doing is reeling it slow at angles. Uh, slow reeling at angles. Now you've seen me catch a few bass bumping, and I've tried a new rig bumping. Uh, I, I put a little spoon at the bottom. I like that little spoon. Wayne Tolson made me that spoon. It's a, it's a cute little spoon. I only got a couple more, but uh, slider makes a longer jig. I cut it off and made just a little bit bigger jig and put a quarter ounce head on the, on the spoon rig, and I got a swivel that slides over the main line in case I get two big bass and I got 12 pound test. I really like eight and 10, but the problem is uh, they're breaking it off. But you get a lot more bites. The smaller line, the more bites you get. I can guarantee you on that. But we use an H2O uh, rod with this express rod, eight to 17 pound, one quarter to five eighths. That quarter to five eighths, or that eight to, to three eighths, all that means how limber the rod is on the end, how, how uh, flexible it is on the end. And, uh, and I like to use them a little bit less stiff for these kind of rigs where on my flutter spoon, I like to go up to three quarter of an ounce uh, on my rod. So if that, uh, and I'm using old wore out uh, reels. I mean, they old, uh, just anything. This is a quantum, quantum reel, this wore slam out. I need a new one. But, uh, and also when I'm bumping the bottom with like for the crampus and stuff, I like this H2O Bone Daddy rod. Now, it's a light action rod, and we just got an inexpensive little reel on. Here's a quantum, but it's a, it's a five ball bearing quantum. It's not really expensive. It's all you need. You don't need to buy, uh, of course, they wear out quicker. The, a higher dollar 
they are the less they wear out. But I'm using little spoons on this, and I like to put a swivel above it. When I'm twitching for crappies and stuff, this is a little spoon that I use for crappies. Um, Todd Smith made me that spoon. Todd Smith makes spoons. If you want some nice spoons, he can make you some. Uh, and this rod here now is a little bit lighter. It's quarter to five eighths. A quarter to five eighths. It's on a casting rod and reel. And you'll see the end, how flexible it is. See how I bend it there real easy? I mean, it almost come back down. By giving the yo-yo effect, the spring actions, that jig, instead of a stiff thump going up and down, it kind of yo-yos it makes it float. And I think that's important. Hey, but go with me on the second half of the video today. And I took Miss Deborah to the doctor yesterday. Hey, I believe, I don't want to uh, make my luck bad, but I believe she's doing a tad better. She seems to be doing better. They give her another injection at another angle. Uh, and hopefully this will work. This is the uh, third injection. She can't have any more uh, steroids injection in her spine. But I believe this one might have hit the right spot. So she's in there today recuperating. Hopefully uh, she's not moaning and groaning like she's been doing for the last eight weeks. And hopefully this is on our way to recovery. Thanks for all the prayers and the people that, that uh, wish as well uh, on our YouTube show. And thanks for everybody that's bought uh, uh, merchandise off my show here lately. We got some great, uh, great fans out there. Uh, oh, Ed Metz has bought a bundle of stuff. Thank you, Ed. And uh, if several of those, I don't, I don't have the names in my head right now. I apologize. But thanks to everybody that made purchases on my show. Go to stevecomelander.com to get your merchandise. Hey, let's see if we can get 10,000 subscribers. We do that, I might start giving some stuff away. Hey, some shirts or something. Who knows? We might run some kind of contest. But hey. Go with us today on the fishing trips, the second half of uh, Lake Monticello, catching all them bass and perch. We really caught the perch on the second half. It was in the heat of the day, and you can catch them up in the heat of the day. So go with me. Hey, hope you enjoyed the show, morning, and let's go fishing. Move, getting ready to go home, and I'm stopping out in the middle of the lake where I used to catch a lot of them. We're going to see if we can catch a couple here before we go to the house. We had a great day fishing. Uh, caught lots of fish. Could have caught more, but hey, we caught plenty. And I'm gonna drop it to the bottom. We're in about 41 foot of water. I see just a few fish stirring up when I, when I get it down there. Didn't see none, I stopped. I just got a few stirring up and we put it down. And uh, we're gonna see if we can stir some off the bottom. I see them down there. I see them down there. Hey, anyhow, glad y'all could be with me today on another episode of Love and Life. And we're going to catch a couple more, I hope, before I go. Ain't no guarantee I dropped down and caught one. But, uh, hey, will they stay biting? I don't know. There's some there. You don't see them until you start fishing. If you're riding around looking for fish, you, you ain't going to do very well. Not in this lake. This lake, you got to start fishing to catch them. And that's the way it is. Caught one. Now I can't get a bite, and I still see them down there. Boat. 41 foot right here. Then got up in the middle of the day, they ain't feeling like they were. That's for sure. There you go. That one hit it. That one hit it. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one, too. A good perch. Look at that. Look at that. Good old. Good size perch. Got to love that. At least we got a bite. Couple out here. Hadn't been over here in a while, so it's not a bad day. Uh, because I didn't really know where to go. I, you know, I know my spot. But you never know, they move around. You got to get the right spot. But it must be about 100 degrees over here now. It's hot. We got to get off this lake. I'm getting burnt up. But hey, we're going to catch a couple more if I can get it down. That's a long way down there, 41. Right there's the bottom. See, we get there. There he is. Hey, there's some down there on the bottom. No question. And they still biting some. Hey, they're not bad ones neither. Good perch. Good perch. 
I'll back down. I don't know if there's any bass up here or not, but where I was at early, it was a lot of bass. Right there's a lot of fish on the bottom right there now. 40 foot, they're coming. They're stirring up. Right here's a shad they spit up. They're hitting pretty good sized shad, believe it or not. See that? That's bigger than my jig. That'd be about like a one ounce uh, spoon shad. What it's like. 41 foot. There he is. Ooh, he hit it. I just missed him. I missed him. He nailed it. Get it back down. I might have knocked my jig loose. Made it crooked. Let's check it. Yeah, it really look all right. Drop it back out. Right, there's a bunch of them stirring up. It's funny, you don't see a darn thing you start bumping the boat and then they show up. They everywhere. Where to get a bite this time? That's a big school up. Big school up. There he is. There he is. There's a nothing. There's a nothing. We might get three on this one. Slow up, we'll get there's nothing. I think we got three. I think we got three. I believe we got three. What I believe. Oh yeah. Look at that. Three at a time. Lake Monticella. You have got to love it. That go over there tore my jig up too. A rascal. Tore my jig up. Sure did. Now bit the tail off of that jig. Bit the tail slam off of it. We're gonna leave it on there with our tail to see if one of it. Drop it back down. See if they hit it without the curly tail. Never can tell. They might like it better. Never know these crazy fish. They all down at 42 foot, all over the bottom. All over the bottom. We're going to get one as soon as we're going to pull it. Hey, oh, Lord, he hit it. He hit it. What are you getting this time? There's a pile of them down there. See, hit it again. Oh, again. Oh, yeah. There goes a nothing. Oh, Lord. There goes a good one. There goes a good one. Hey, day. Eating it up. Hot summertime fishing. On Lake Monticello. Hey, didn't get but one. That joke is pulling like it, like it's a lot bigger than that. I don't know what in the world. But he caught him on the one with no tail. I can tell you that much. Hey, caught him on, I had one on the bottom too. I had two on there. Caught him on the one with no tail. All right. All right, let's get it back down there where the big boys lie. You got fish down there. We on them. Hadn't been here all day. I almost didn't stop because I didn't see nothing. That just goes to show, and I, that little voice that I hear says, look, you know you can't look at the fish finder and tell they down there. You have got to stop and fish. And that little voice talked me into staying and stopping one more time. And we're gonna catch them because they, they all over the bottom. They all over the bottom, I'm telling you. See that? Uh-oh, there he is again. Hey, they all over the bottom out there. Hey, thick. Look at how they're going. Look at how they're going. Oh, my. Got three, I believe, this time. Oh, my. They're eating it up. Eating it up. Three at a time. Look at him. Three at a time. Lake Monticello. Oh, my. You got to love it. Hey, and they hitting that jig with that doggone curly tail on it. I've been taking them all and putting new ones on. Maybe I should have been leaving the darn tail off. Maybe they just want a ponytail. 
a little stub tail. Hey, them's nice perch. Ain't nothing wrong with these perch. Hey, they quality perch. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy's line. Man, it's hot. Hey, day. Oh, don't see them now. They left me. They get the, they, they, you catch a couple, and they'll get uninterested. Or you'll get off of them one or two. We'll beat them back in here. When I got deeper, we're 43. We was at 41. I think they're laying on the side of this ridge out here, though, about everywhere. We can get that jig down that right spot. We can catch one. I believe they'll hit. Get it down there. There he is. Hey, yes. Let's see if we can get a nut. I don't know if we're going to get a nut or not. Don't look like it. You got one. Not but one. A little one, too. Throw back up. Throw back up. Coming back out. Oh, they're down there now. They're all over the bottom. Forty one foot now. There he is. There he is. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. And a nothing. We might have three. I know we got two. I'm not sure about three, but I think we got two. Unless he's fooling me. They fool me ever so often. Oh, oh yeah, we had two. They ain't huge, but we had two. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Come in here, boy. That's a medium size. Ain't no big one, though. I'm going to throw him back. I'm going to throw him back. All right, let's drop it back down. We got plenty of them now. Takes forever to get down that 40 couple foot. All we got to do is get it down there and reel it. One will take it. See that? One hit it. There he is again. Nice one there. Nice one there. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. Oh my. There goes a nothing. Two at a time and the good ones. Look at that. The good ones. That, my friend, is a nice perch. Here's a bigger one than that. This is a jumbo super dog. I'm going to drop on back down. I'll show you to you. Look at that. Look at that, what a nice perk. Big in your hand. Hey, got to love that. They thick down there right now. They must be pulling water. They starting to feed, showing up. Hot and feeding, still. I've caught them like this before, though, in the, in the midday. Oh, they coming up to the jig going down there. They hungry. I see them coming up to it. We start reeling one ought to take it. Oh, Lord, I can't believe I didn't get a bite. Drop it back down. Stay down there. 40 foot, we done got a little shallower. Back out a little bit. All right, there's the bottom. There he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. There goes nothing. That one nailed it, I tell you that. There goes another. We got more than one. I think we got three again. I think we got three again. What? Oh my. It's hot, but it's fun. Hot well and hot fishing on Lake Monticello. Look at him. Three at a time. And they biting that jig with no tail on it. The big ones are biting that bottom one though. Look at the size of that perch. Some good ones out here, boys. There's some good ones out here. What? I told him a doggone jig. Slam up over here. I got to rehook it. I don't know if we can get another hook in him or not. 
Tore him up, I'll tell you that. We're gonna try. Put him back on the hook. He's upside down. We're gonna give him a try upside down. Right there. Right now. Drop him down. Hey, they biting, ain't they? Crazy. They are they biting. They biting and I'm hot. Whoo! 39 foot now. Fish all over the bottom. Fish all over the bottom. My goodness. Fish all over the bottom. We get it down, one ought to come up and grab it. They'll stir up off the bottom of the whole school and you'll see them come up. There he is. He nailed it. Get a nothing. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. And a nothing. Oh my. What? Hey, day. Might I sell a white perch? You got to love it. Hey, one well, or two. They pulling though. Great. Daddy, them little fish are pulling. They nailing it. Is this a throwback in here? Come on, boy. I'm going to throw you back. Get back out there. Get back out there with mama. Hey, let's drop it back down. We got it going on. Got it going on. We be cleaning fish for a while today. Stay out here. I can tell you that much. There he is. Uh-oh, missed him. We had him. Probably pulled my jig down. I'm gonna throw it back out there and see. We got a whole school of them unders. Whole school of them unders. There he is. That's a good one. Mm. That's a nice one. He got but one though, I don't think. He's a nice one. He is a nice one. Oh, we got two. Here we got two medium sized ones. Tearing up my views, I can tell you that. Tearing them up. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Let's get back out and catch a nut. What y'all say? They're all over the place. There he is. He nailed it. That joker creamed it. He creamed it. One fish, huh? One nice one. I'm back down. Funny how the bass are at certain places and the perch. Sometimes they mix, sometimes they, they just perch. So far, all I'm seeing, I'm thinking is perch. Plenty of them, too. Plenty of perch. There he is. I mean, nailing it. Here's another, I believe. I ain't sure. But I believe it is. Might be one. Might be two, I ain't sure. Two. Look at that. Two of them. Nice ones. Still hitting this dog in jig with no tail. What the hitting? I'm about to tow up this other jig over here. All right, drop back down. <coughs> Where the big boys lie. There comes some. Right up under the boat. My jig's way back there in the back. No, oh, there he goes. I got him in the house. Hey, we got him in the house. I got two. Might have three. I don't know what we got here. Uh-oh, one got off. One just got off. I don't know if he broke off or he just got off. Something got off. We had three, one got off. What happened? One got off.
All right, that is a nice one. Medium sized perch, a good eating size right there. Put them back down there. They ain't hitting that spade tail jig though. I'm gonna tell you that right now. We might have had one on it and got off. And we're gonna cut about 25 right here. Already got a cooler full. Got to go. Be clean fish all evening. There you go. Still hitting though. And there's a little one there. Mighty little, I think. I'm not sure. Nice keeper. That's a good one. You no know, little one. Joker just wasn't pulling right. Look at that. I don't like that stay tail you. Let me tell you that right now. Hold it back on the bottom again, stirring up. Must be a quad Z in that now. I bet you could throw a net in there and fill it up. Bet you. I don't think I got all the way down that time. Man, I can't believe that there he is. He said I can't believe I didn't get a bite, and there he hit it. He goes another, I believe. He goes number two. Might be number three. He killing it out here in the middle of the day today. Nobody else on the lay. Everybody going home. I'll stay a little bit later, see what happens. Look at him. Got one on the old paddle tail jig that time. And there's a baby there. I mean, a real baby. And that, that might be a keeper. Yeah, that's probably a keeper. When I get to clean them, I'm going to that back. There ain't so many of them. All right, drop it down. See if we get another one. Having fun, ain't we? We're gonna have too much footage, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, I tell you they're killing it now. They can skylight that thing and they're killing it. There goes a nothing and a nothing. Oh my, they're killing it now. They can, it's bright sun shining, they can skylight that jig. And when you pull it up, you've got three. See what I'm talking about? I mean good ones too. Good ones. My goodness, you got to love this. You're killing them. We killing them. Oh, Lake Monticello. Everything must be right. They must be pulling water is all I can figure. They must be pulling water. Drop them back down to the bottom with a big boy's line. See if we can't catch three more. I bet you they hit the spoon down there. They show sure eating it up and jigs up, I can tell you that. They kill them. 41 foot right there. Plenty of them down there too. See that? I'm talking about? They down there, buddy. They hot. They hot as a firecracker on Tuesday evening. What? Oh my! They're killing it. Hey, day. Laying it to them, ain't we? Man, we catching them. We catching them today. I am not kidding you. We ain't gonna have room to put them. Nice chest. We are catching them today. I'm not hitting this dog on spade tail jig. I need to take it off. Hey, yes. Oh, my. We're gonna have a two-parter with this. They're killing it. 
They are killing it. I mean, killing it. Got my nose itching to bite so fast. Somebody's talking about me. Drop back down. Hey, you got to love it. They all over that bottom. Thousands of them. Thousands of them. There he is. He hit it. We missed him, but he hit it. All we got to do is pull this boat a little bit and reel it up. That's all we got to do. I'm going to bite it. I can guarantee you on that. See that? What I'm talking about? Uh-oh. Something wrong with my dog on rod. We got fish on it. Something wrong with it. Got several on it. That ain't that big, I don't believe. They all down there. A little one. That shows you how many perches in this lake. That's why there ain't no crappies in here no more. And perches, uh oh, done took my jig off. And perches eat all the crappy eggs. What's happening? I guarantee that's what's happening. There it come, there it come. There you go. There it was. There goes nothing. Uh, I'm not sure it might not be but one. Might not be but one. A bunch of them though down there. Oh, he got off. Lucky fish. Hey, down took my tail off that jig again. Talk down there. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. 40 foot. They're hitting a little tiny shad. I'm gonna show you what they're spitting up in, out here. They're spitting up big shad down yonder. Look at that little thing. That's what it's spitting up out here. And that's the size of that doggone jig we use. A little. Gonna quit. There he is again. Fix say they're quitting now. Got him that time. Up with one, though. One nice one, I believe. Uh, that's two. Got him on that doggone little Bobby Garland. The tiniest Bobby Garland jig. Hey, bumping it. Hitting it again. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Might be another one. There goes another one. There goes another one. Little ones, though, they ain't. 